Hi there, it's Ralph with Straight Bends. Today I've got a topic for you that sometimes uh, can beleaguer you guys as it, as it did me. And that is the dreaded ABS light coming on or uh, it's off and just before you come to a dead stop the uh, brake paddle starts pulsing and the signaling that the ABS is kind of coming on. I got uh, two things that, that you can check and uh, one big one right right from the get-go is usually the um, overload uh, protection relay and uh, that one if that one fails or the, the fuse fails that one can definitely be the first of the trouble that you can so encounter. First things first here's the overload protection relay and if there's a fuse in the back sometimes it's the relay and sometimes it's just the darn fuse in the back here it's perfectly okay and this is not my trouble these are sometimes it's actually necessary just to uh, clean those contacts down here they do corrode over time this one is well used but it's working okay usually if this this does not work the idle is very low especially on diesel and then uh, the uh, the tack doesn't work either so then it's definitely a surefire sign that this uh, relay is not working right or the contacts are corroded so that's trouble spot number one the other three spots that can be a trouble are the wheel sensors the wheel sensors why three because on the old w126 s class bends they only had three two at the front one each and then one at the differential the differential usually is not going bad and if it is and you pull it out uh, the the um, uh, differential case the and it has metal debris there that's bigger trouble than UV ABS because that means you, your um, differential gears are most likely shot so uh, they tend to leak the o-ring needs to uh, be replaced for once in a while but once that one is back together I don't think that's your trouble spot usually it's the front sensors one or the other sometimes both and there are two tr problem areas one is dust which I'll show you where that would accumulate and you know just a little bit and how to double check if it is if they are clean uh, they are two things to check one on either wheel um, as far as the sensors are concerned if the magnets or the the this ring gear is actually okay here's the wheel sensor the ABS sensor this one looks pretty clean sometimes they gunk up and foul up with all kinds of debris you need to be really careful don't use a wire brush use a rag use a toothbrush but uh, don't damage this thing you don't have to take the wheel off in order to get to it however sometimes they do get stuck in the bore because of rust or something like that and you have to drive them out you have to do that really careful made with a socket of a socket wrench because the uh, the innards get damaged real easy and then you'll never get rid of your ABS light coming on and the, the brakes pulsing but that's one thing to spot and to look for in terms of ABS brake lights coming on or your brake paddle pulsing just before you uh, come to a complete right stop. Here is the driver side ABS sensor. It's located right here. There's the, the zip tie. Sometimes pretty crusty and breaking, but not on this one. This is going to the controller and this is the end that goes to the sensor. You need a multimeter like I have here. You need to set it to uh, so you can measure millivolts and you should have um, when everything is set and done you should have something between 1 and 1.7 millivolt when you give this wheel a good turn like so that's all you need to do I show you, you need to put the contacts on here 
There you go. And then give the weed a good push. There you go. One. One seven. So that one is actually working pretty well. Let's see what the passenger side does. Here's that one put all together. Now we'll go over to the other side, jack up the, the front wheel so I can spin it freely and give it a good push. Moving over the, to the passenger side. And here I've done the same. Here the sensor sits right under there. You take it out of the clip, separate the connector, put your two probes in, and then you give the wheel good spin. Same as on the driver's side, and you should come, and this is the most important part, the uh, the value should come about to, to be the same. If it doesn't, then that's the reason why uh, your ABS. Yeah, this one is definitely different. So I'm going to change this one, and once it's changed, I'm going to... Uh, see what I can do about uh, doing it again to just confirm that this was it all right so changed the uh, ABS sensor on this side apparently the one that I had in there that I got quote unquote in brand new stock wasn't uh, because now I actually have 1.9 1.4 when I pushed the weir so and that's why my brake pedal was pulsing just before I came to a stop good luck folks these ABS lights can drive you absolutely crazy when they do come on and the, when it does the brakes still work but the ABS just will not uh, kick on for you happy wrenching and don't do as I did. <laughs> Take care. Bye.